upon a time, in the heart of the African savanna, there lived a young lion cub named Kito. Kito was the son of the mighty lion king, Simba, and the queen lioness, Nala. He had a heart as big as the savanna itself and was known for his curiosity and adventurous spirit. One sunny morning, as the animals of the Pride Lands gathered at Pride Rock, Kito's father, Simba, spoke to the animals about the circle of life. Kito listened with wide eyes, imagining himself as a great and powerful lion like his father. After the gathering, Kito approached his friend, a mischievous meerkat named Timon, and a wise old mandrel named Rafiki. He shared his dreams of going on an adventure beyond the Pride Lands to explore new territories and make his own mark in the world. Timon warned Kito about the dangers of leaving the Pride Lands, while Rafiki smiled knowingly. Sometimes, young Kito, Rafiki said, adventures lead us to discover not only new places, but also our own strengths. With his heart set on the adventure, Kito said his farewells to his family and set off with his friends, Timon and Rafiki. They journeyed through dense jungles, crossed wide rivers, and climbed tall mountains. Along the way, they encountered new animals and experienced the beauty of nature's wonders. One day, while exploring a lush rainforest, Kito heard a faint cry for help. Following the sound, they discovered a young elephant named Nia trapped in a deep mud pit. Without hesitation, Kito leaped into action, using his strong paws to pull Nia out of the mud. Nia was grateful and told Kito that her family was in trouble. Hunters had captured her family members and were planning to sell them to a distant land. Filled with determination, Kido, Timon, Rafiki, and Nia formed a plan to rescue Nia's family. They journeyed to the hunter's camp under the cover of night. With Kido's courage, Timon's cleverness, Rafiki's wisdom, and Nia's determination, they outwitted the hunters and freed the captured elephants. As they watched the grateful elephant family reunite, Kido felt a sense of pride and accomplishment. He realized that being brave wasn't just about physical strength, but also about using his heart and mind to help others. With Nia's family safe and the hunters defeated, Kido knew it was time to return to the Pride Lands. He had learned that the circle of life extended beyond the borders of his home and that his adventures had brought him wisdom, friendship, and a deeper understanding of his own potential. Back in the Pride Lands, Kido shared his stories with his family and friends. Simba and Nala were proud of their son's bravery and compassion. Kido had truly embraced the spirit of the Lion King, not by following in his father's footsteps, but by creating a unique path of his own. And so the tale of Kito, the brave lion cub, became a cherished story in the Pride Lands, a reminder that even the smallest among us can make a big difference and that true courage comes from the heart. And as the sun set over the savanna, the circle of life continued, weaving stories of adventure, friendship, and the enduring legacy of the Lion King.